Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years whilst earning only minimum wage. And in this video, I want you to ask yourself the question, do you really want to be wealthy? So before we start the video, I've got some good and some bad news. Uh, next week we launch our subscription site, The 10% Club. We're pretty much oversubscribed. By that I mean in five days we had 80 pre-subscribed members. Now I've promised everyone a one-to-one -one to discuss their goals for half an hour which means I've got 40 hours worth of Zoom calls to fit into the next 30 days or so. And rather than keep everybody waiting, I'm gonna change the subscribe button to a waiting list button. Now that's important because I've promised the first 100 subscribers that they will get their fee frozen for life at 10 pounds a month. So there's 20 spaces left. And if you don't want to miss out, then go to the link in the description and click on that waiting list and make sure you subscribe there and I'll get back to you in a month or so. So if I were to ask you, do you really want to be wealthy? And let's assume for the, the purpose of the argument, because we won't much of a video if you said no, um, that you do want to be, to be wealthy. And then I said, okay, so what are, you, what are you willing to do? What is it you're willing to do in order to become wealthy? And you would say, I don't, pretty much anything, providing it's legal. Okay, providing it's legal, anything. So are you willing to work an extra 80 hours a week? No. Uh, how about 40? Uh, no. 30? 20? 10? Nothing. Okay. So what is it you're willing to sacrifice in order to become wealthy? You know, you're going to have to give, what are the good things are you going to have to give up? Your holidays, going out with your friends on weekends, socializing, the streaming channels, takeaways. What of that are you going to, are you willing to give up in order to become wealthy? Nothing. None of it. Okay, so when you said you do anything legal to become wealthy, you actually meant you weren't prepared to do anything. Now, that's not an unusual conclusion that I come to when I'm talking to people about this subject. And I talk about it a lot, not surprisingly. And I get it particularly at night time when I maybe would have had a drink and I'm trolling the left-wing economic um, video channels looking for a groin to put my knee in. And I hear comments like, oh, it's scandalous that this day and age people are struggling to get by. It's impossible to buy a house nowadays. The new generation are never going to get a foot on the housing ladder. ladder. Oh, this system is all wrong. And yet when I propose a solution to the problem, they don't want to hear it. And they'll come back with something like, oh, it's wrong, it's immoral, it's obscene that I should be expected to work longer than 38 hours for a decent living. And what that initial whine and the defense of that whine boils down to is that they know there's a problem, they recognize there's a problem there, but they don't want to do anything to fix it. They want somebody else to solve the problem. They're not prepared to make any sacrifice or put any extra work in in order to fix the problem. But that can't work. It's, it's like trying to invent a perpetual motion machine. They never work because you can't get more energy out than you put in. So if you're going to restrict yourself to working 38 hours a week, then you're going to get 38 hours of pay. You can't then complain that you're, you're not getting 80 hours of pay. And if you're only going to work 30 hours of work a week, then you're going to get a 38 hour lifestyle. You know, it's, it's no one's fault but yours. You're the cause of the problem. You fix the problem. So if you're waiting around for the government to come and sort your problem out, you're going to be disappointed. You know, whether it's right or wrong is irrelevant. It remains your problem. However, if you're willing to work, 20 hours a week more or 40 hours a week more, you're going to, you're going to improve your lifestyle by 50 to 100%. But none of this is new. I, you know, it's, this is not original thought here or original speak. You already knew this, didn't you? You already knew that spending all your money meant you weren't going to be wealthy. You already knew that not investing for your future meant you were going to live a, a lifestyle in retirement in pretty much poverty. You know, you condemn yourself to a subsistence, subsistence lifestyle. You were just waiting around for a knight in shining armor to come and solve your problem. Well, good luck with that. You know, it's probably the same people who, when they're on a, some beach somewhere and some guy takes his top off and he's muscly, buffed to hell, he's got a six pack, and they say, look at that poser. What they actually mean is, hey, I wish I had a body like that, but you know, the reality is I'm not willing to put the effort into the gym. If you're not willing to do everything he has, then don't do crime for the guy, for the, what he's done. He's sacrificed. He's put hours in the gym while you were watching Love Island to get that body. You're just not prepared to do it. You could do, though, if you, if you did what he did, if you committed yourself to the actions and the sacrifices he did, you would get the same. But you're just not prepared to do it. And that's fine, but take on the responsibility. However, if the day has come when you've decided you've reached a tipping point, 
that you appreciate that there is a lifestyle out there that belongs to you and you've decided to become wealthy. You decided to make the sacrifices and do what it takes to become wealthy. That you've decided no longer to buy another large pair of elasticated waist trousers. You recognize that there is a problem and it's your problem and the solution is in your hands to do so. You recognize that you're no longer gonna spend all your money. What you're gonna do is you're gonna save money, you're gonna work harder, you're gonna invest that money because you've decided to become wealthy and you've decided to become wealthy today. When you reach that tipping point, your new life begins. Now that journey's tough, I know, I've been on it for five years now. And I wish I had a community of people around me who were on the same journey as me because I could ask them for advice and I could share the problems and the stresses that I've gone through to get this far. And that's why I set up the 10% Club. And that's why I'd like you to join. You can't join right now because of the waiting list because we're oversubscribed. But maybe if you, if you go and click the link in the description, click the waiting list uh, button on there and put, your, put, your, put all you want at this stage is just to put your email address on. We'll let you know when we're recruiting again and do that today and you can join us on that journey and we can help you, mentor you and make sure you hit your targets. And I look forward to leading you to financial independence of your own. Don't be stupid and don't be normal guys.